Google just released Gemini Conductor. Conductor is a Gemini CLI extension built around something Google calls context-driven development. It's designed to reduce hallucinations and cut down the painful back and forth with your LLM that burns tokens. Gemini Conductor works only inside the Gemini CLI. In simple terms, it helps the model actually understand your code base context before it starts generating code. Now, why does this even matter? Because most of us are not building tiny demo apps. We're working on large, messy, real-world code bases. Google calls these brown field projects, existing systems with history, tech debt, and real users. And this is exactly where most AI coding tools start to break. But you're probably wondering, don't AI coding agents already know how to read the repo and understand it? And yes, that's true. AI coding agents can scan files, search symbols, and pull context. But it's not perfect. As your project grows, it becomes impossible for any model to consistently load the right information at the right time, and that leads to two real problems. First, the model often doesn't know which context actually matters for a given prompt. And second, even when you do create context files, keeping them up to date as the repo evolves is a constant losing battle. This is where things start to fall apart at scale. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. I help developers turn AI into real workflows, so sub and like, it really helps me provide more value for you. So, how does Gemini Conductor actually work? Once you install Gemini CLI and add the Conductor extension, you can type slash Conductor and you'll see five new commands. Let's quickly walk through them. Status shows the current state of the project based on Gemini Conductor's context files. Setup. This is the initial configuration step where Conductor learns how your project is structured. Revert. Rolls things back. Nothing fancy here, but very useful when experimenting. New track, used when you start working on a new feature. E implement, this is where the actual coding happens, after you already have a clear plan. Let's see it in action. For this demo, I'll use alldevneeds.com, a website that provides free tools for developers. Because we're working on an existing project, we start with the setup command. This is the step where Gemini Conductor does a deep analysis of the repository and builds the context it will use for all future development. Let's run it and see what happens. At this point, Gemini starts scanning the repo and then asks a series of questions. These questions are important. It's trying to understand how you think about the project, the architecture, the priorities, and what actually matters. So during this phase, take the time to answer everything carefully. The better your answers here, the better conductor will behave later. Think of this as configuring your AI teammate before you let it touch the code. Once the setup is complete, you'll notice a new folder in your repo called conductor. What's inside it? But before that, let me ask you something. Ever been vibe coding, everything feels great until you hit a real bug and nothing the AI suggests works? You're not alone. That's why we opened our school community, to help you become a real software developer in the AI era. You get support from senior devs, weekly Q&As, and tutorials that help you understand what you're building. One dollar a month for the first 50. Lock it now. Let's get back to the video, and I'll see you inside. The names pretty much say it all. First, we have a file that describes the project itself. This gives Gemini a high level understanding of what this system is and why it exists. Next, there are product guidelines for future development. For example, it documents existing UI components, so Gemini checks what already exists before creating new ones. Then we have the tech stack file. In the case of all dev needs, this clearly states that we're using TypeScript with React, Tailwind, and ShadCN. We also get a workflow file. This captures how the project is actually built and maintained, for example, requiring 80% test coverage before changes are considered complete. There is also a setup state file. This is used internally by Conductor to track whether setup was completed successfully. And finally, we have code style guides. These define coding conventions for each language in the repository. So generated code actually matches your existing standards. And that's it. At this point, the initial setup is done and Gemini Conductor is officially ready to work on the project. Now let's build a new feature. For that, we'll use the new track command. So I run the new track command and paste the short description of the feature I want to build. In this case, I want to add a new URL and HTML encoder slash decoder. Just like during setup, Gemini Conductor starts asking clarifying questions. This time, it's focused on the feature itself, what it does, edge cases, and how it should fit into the existing product. Based on my answers, Conductor creates a clear implementation plan. Once that's done, you'll see a new folder under tracks. This folder contains the full plan for the feature, separate from the rest of the project context. At this point, nothing is coded yet. Only after I review and approve the plan, I move to the next step and run the implement command. And that's when the actual code generation begins. After a few iterations, our feature is developed. 
next. Gemini CLI asks what you want to do with the current plan. You can either archive it or delete it. Archiving is usually the right choice, especially if you want to keep a record of how the feature was designed. Now let's quickly talk about pricing. Gemini Conductor is a Gemini CLI extension, so there's no separate cost for using it. You only pay for the tokens you consume while working with it. As for installation, it's straightforward. Just head to the official website. You can install it using NPM or Homebrew. After that, you'll need to run a single command to enable Conductor. You'll find that command in the official Gemini Conductor repository. Gemini Conductor is a great tool, but the real impact comes from your workflows. In this video, I'll show you how I debug with AI. So don't miss that. Until we meet again, build workflows, not chaos.